Welcome to my writing realm. My name is Tanya Stephenson and I'm a self-published author. To find out more information about me and my publications, please check out my website at www.tanyastephenson.ca. Episode 18, Writing on the Go. Life is hectic. We strive to be our best and do as much as we possibly can within the time available to us. But how do we stay on top of things and make time for writing? Sometimes we are forced to write on the go. This could mean writing on the bus, in a car, while standing in line, or at the hockey arena. But what are some ways to make this easier? Here are some ideas that you could consider for writing on the go. Bring a pen and a notepad. Use your smartphone, which can be made easier with a Bluetooth keyboard. Bring a laptop and possibly a lap desk. Or use voice recording, which can be converted into text later with special software like Dragon Naturally Speaking. But what are some of the struggles or downsides to each of these? For a pen and a notepad, well, finding the right size to fit in whatever bag or purse you are using. Later, you may still have to type it on a computer, which to some feels like twice the effort. But on the bright side, it does reduce screen time and therefore eye fatigue. You can use your smartphone, which you normally would have with you anyways if you have one. But it can be difficult to write a lot on a smartphone, especially if you aren't accustomed to using your phone's keyboard. Your hands can cramp up as everything is smaller. Your neck may get sore if you're looking down a lot. If you're connected to cloud storage, it can affect your data consumption. Having a bad signal while connected to the cloud can affect what is or is not saved on your current project. Yet, it can be nice when you get those great ideas you want to document while you're on the go. A laptop and a lap desk. Well, even a laptop on its own can be quite cumbersome, never mind adding a portable desk to the mix. What about finding a network connection? Wi-Fi is always helpful, but you're not guaranteed to find it. I mean, if you're not using like a cloud storage while you're writing, then it might not affect you. But if your battery gets low, how do you charge it? But using a laptop is great because the size of the screen is better, the keyboard is easier to use, and the hard drive space is also much better. If you're going on a road trip and you're writing in the car, then that lap desk is awesome. It makes it so much easier to write on. But what about voice recording? There are different devices that you can use to do this, including a smartphone and a dictation device. Recording in public can be tricky as any sound around you can negatively impact the text results with the voice to text software. I have found this using a dictation device while I was in a vehicle because any of the sounds that the vehicles made or the sound of the road or the tires on the road completely screwed up all of the words with the software. You also need to say the words whenever you want punctuation added. Like to end a sentence, you need to say period during the recording. Or to start a new paragraph, you need to say new line or next line. Or say you want to use, you know, quotations, you have to say the word, you know, open quotations, close quotations, depending on the software that you're using. If you choose to not say the punctuation during the recording, it can greatly increase the amount of time you spend on editing. But there are always benefits to to dictation. So one of these includes less screen time, and that is something we could all use. Today's writing assignment. Number one, consider making a write-on-the-go plan to help increase the amount of time you have to spend on writing. If you have a busy lifestyle like I do, you may not be able to sit down at home and write, or maybe you have too many distractions, so sometimes writing on the go can be the only way I can find time to write. 
Number two, keep working on your nano project, which should be pretty obvious. We have passed the halfway mark and should be more than 25,000 words in, which I sure wish I was. My writing time has been very limited because of hockey season and other stuff happening within my family and my work schedule. So I am not where I had planned to be and my week off did not go as I had expected. So yes, I am currently running very behind on Nano, but that's okay. I'm not giving up and nor should you. Well, that is it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to talking with you next time. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, night, or whatever, and happy writing.